<laughs> oh, it is that time of the month again. <laughs> Welcome to the second monthly pickups, aka the October edition. Got a text, got a text. Oh, shh. Pretty much I'm going to show you guys what I picked up from the past month, this episode being October since it's November now. So let's go ahead and get started and dive in. Alright, usually I start this off with my hats because I like to go from head to toe. But um, I'm starting out with these Barcelona gloves that I got. The reason why I got these, I know it's hot in LA, but um, I'm going to New York in January. So it's going to be like snowing and cold there. So I wanted to keep my fingertips uh, nice and warm. And for all you New Yorkers that are wondering, yes, I'm going to set up a meet and greet in New York in January. So stay tuned for that. All right, now on to the hat. The first one I'm going to show you guys is this dope five panel floral brim. Sort of got you will never guess where I got this from. Aldo. It was like... 15 bucks, I think. Next up is the hundreds hat I got. Pretty dope, you got the basic hundreds logo. She just skin brim. This is probably my favorite hat that I bought all year from uh, Active. It was a store out here in Santa Monica. And then the brim is a leather brown. Last headwear for the episode is this basic beanie I got from Target. Target is in beanie season right now, so if you're looking for some dope beanies, hit up Target. They got all kinds of colors. All right, moving on to the clothes. I've been looking for something like this for a while. You guys know leather is in right now. I don't even know if the camera will do justice on it. Back is all black. Simple, but dope. Brand is Top Mint. I'm probably going to rock this to my event in uh, Stockton this coming Friday. I got this flannel from H&M. It's a black with the fade to the white. If you see me on Instagram, you saw me rocking this to the J. Cole concert. And then you also saw me rock it to the Yeezy concert. I wrapped it around my waist. A lot of people made fun of me for doing that because it looks like a skirt or it's like so 80s or 90s. But it looks dope. I got this hoodie. This is a Nike hoodie. It's You gotta look really into the detail. It's like a zebra type fingerprint, something like that. You can't even tell it's Nike until you look at the sleeve and you see this big BAM! It's originally 80 bucks. I got this for only 20 bucks, so um, my homie hooked it up. Like I said in my last one, Target is the spot. This dope little thin hoodie. The brand is Converse. Plain and simple. Just, I picked this one up from Zoomies. It's a primitive shirt with the polka dots in the letter. I got this one from Zoomies too. It's a tie-dye Stussy shirt. And I know what you're thinking, tie-dye, what are you stuck in the 70s? But come on, man. You know that style gets recycled. Kanye West, 808s and Heartbreak shirt. Really simple gray tee with the heart that's broken and it's like a, a, a what is this material called um, 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 um. it's like furry god why can't I remember this shirt that I bought from his Yeezus tour this is the basic Kanye T got him looking down and then the back you got the dates of the tour it was this one right here you got the Yeezus on the top with the little like Indian skull guy Yeezus tour dates again another target pickup I got this Massimo supply company it's just like a long sleeve warm type shirt another tie-dye shirt shirt Stussy again and the back is like a cursive version of the same exact thing and it just has the writing man this is dope I only picked up one pants for this month they look leather but they are not leather they are denim for sure they're just very shiny black these are from H&M slim fit always looks better if you're looking for pants like this hit up H&M they got it for you now I know what you're thinking the shoes are supposed to come next but for the first time, I did not buy any shoes in the month of October. I was able to control myself. I'm doing this new thing called saving money. Since I haven't bought any shoes, I thought it would be cool to show you guys the shoes I do have in my collection. All right, y'all, welcome to my closet. And before I get into my sneakers, I wanna say I know I don't have the biggest collection. I know I don't have the rarest collection. If you know me, you know I do a lot of trading, um, getting rid of my sneakers because I get over sneakers and buy more. That's just any sneaker head would understand exactly what I'm I'm saying right now but this is my current collection it used to be way bigger before I moved to LA I promise you that and let's go ahead and get into it Nike Roche runs very comfortable and very stylish the red safaris the reason why I got these is because they remind me of the Kanye red October Yeezy 2s that are coming out soon which are nearby going to be impossible to get Nike ID Roche runs inspired by again air Yeezy 2s another pair of Nike Roche runs leopard print on the toe daily comfort shoe Nike fly knit and another pair I got the blue Nike fly nuts with the vault tongue. Nike fly nuts again, multicolor. If you could kind of see on here all the different colors. This, uh, this is my jogging shoe, so I, I run in these ones. Let's get into some boxes. I'll show you my Jordans first because I don't have that many. Air Jordan 8, Bugs Bunnies. The reason why I got these is because my favorite TV show growing up was Boy Meets World, and Corey used to rock these all the time, so when they re-retroed, I had to pick them up. 
dead stock. I don't like these ones at all, so I don't know why I have them, but I'm trying to sell them. Grapes, dead stock. These are size 11, too big for me. Every real sneakerhead has these in his collection. That's all I gotta show you and you know what they are. Breads. The reason why I love these so much is because in high school I didn't know how to get them and all the other kids would have pairs of 11s and I never had any and finally now that I'm older I finally got my pair when they came out I was so happy I was like doing jumping jacks and running all over the place. Uh, it means a little more to me than the usual consumer. That's just me. I got a different connection with my sneakers. I, it sounds cheesy but that's, that's just how I feel. Moving on, let's get into my favorite basketball player Kobe Bryant. Red Kobe 8 Year of the Dragon. What the Kobe's? Every Everything on the shoe is different, so one swoosh is orange, one is like a light blue, lace is different, print on the shoe is different. I have hopes to get these signed by Kobe one day, so I'm not wearing them just yet. And this pair is actually from China. It's my first pair of shoes that I got from China. It's sick, it has all this Chinese writing on the back of the box. Little details, y'all. Kobe 8 Christmas lights, Christmas days, whatever you want to call them. It's the Christmas edition. Area 72, aka All Star Edition. PP pack, Philippine pack. Easter's. Oh, super sexy. My favorite Kobe 8, the Mamba Curios. It put the swoosh on the toe, the purple with the vault, with the lime green, and the Nike on the inside. Oh, they did such a good job with these. And you got the grass on the clear sole at the bottom, and the inside is like that soccer shoe material. Oh, they did. I love these. I love these. KD6 Lifestyles Polka Dot High Top. These are my basketball shoes. Kobe 8 Milk Snakes. You can see that I hoop in them. They're beat up. And then also when I feel like rocking some high top, I rock my Nike Hyper Dunk. 2013 I believe they are they're the Kyrie Irving editions all right y'all thank you for watching my monthly pickups for October I'll see you guys next month if you have any questions regarding some styles things to buy uh, shoes anything like that just leave comments down below and I will try my hardest to reply to all of you until next time everybody stay dope and stay fresh